Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about twin flames and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. Um, this one doesn't have an extended and uh, this reading is posted afterwards my energy healing podcast which um, you would be very welcome to have a look at. It's a new addition to my channel because Virgos are the healers of the Zodiac and uh, I am bringing to you interesting subjects in the area of energy healing every Friday. So let's see what we can find out about this Twin Flame connection. What is happening between the two of you right now? What is happening? between the two of you right now. Okay. We've got <clears throat> three cards pulling out. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Suddenly it's going. We've got the Knight of Swords, which is a very fast movement. Justice. And the Devil. Okay, very interesting already. And we've got the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it is about what's going on between the two of you. So something is changing. These two are the interesting ones here. Justice and the devil. It does feel like an adjustment. Some things weren't in alignment between the two of you. And um, justice is being served in a sense. And this devil is like um, hmm. when you read the devil word backwards it says lived so the devil is life lived backwards and uh, they, uh, the two of you are starting to realize something here about this connection that you haven't seen before Okay, let's ask about that. What is it that you haven't seen before? Two of Wands. There is a choice here to be happy. That's what you two haven't realized before. Okay, so what is coming through? What's coming through is that you two uh, possibly have been struggling through this connection. Uh, it brought lots of brought lots of happiness to you, but it always had a high cost to pay. Some somehow high. High price, price to pay. And I feel that was on both sides. And now what is changing is you both feel that you two are happy with each other. So maybe there is a way of doing this, which is not so painful, not so um, troublesome. Okay, tell me more about this choice, these two of ones. We've got the hangman and the fool with the knight of cups at the bottom. So you are both looking for the light. You are both looking for a solution in this situation. And you are both willing to give it another try when the opportunity arises. You both are willing to see this through the eyes of love. And wanting to make progress in this situation. Okay, so yeah, it looks like exactly what I was just saying. Um, so there were lots of success, lots of head scratching, where, which way to go, lots of heartbreak, 
in this situation um, and you both walked away from this because you both had other options and now you both are hopping on your chariots although feeling defeated in this situation um, you are kind of watching each other looking at the situation in a different way seeing that there might just be a way to do this together because there is mutual love there is the queen of swords and the nine of wands <sighs> this queen of swords is like really is this what you've got um Because they are going to come in with some kind of communication to start anew. Because very clearly in this nine of wands, one wand is separated. She's holding that like the ace of wands, a passionate new beginning. Eight wands and the background, talking, communicating. And um, when they come in, they need to be very careful what they are saying. And you need to be very careful how you are responding because um, that spirit is giving me emotions are high. So you are both sensitive. It's like touch and go kind of energy. Wow. Okay. So, so far you could be dealing with a Leo, a Pisces, an Aquarius, Cancer, Right. Um, we had also up there the devil, Capricorn, the justice, Libra. Yeah. So definitely a shift is happening. You both come to realization how much happiness this connection brought you in the past. You both feel the love to the other towards the other person. You both care about each other. You both are lying towards... Lying... Uh, lying not lying you both are hiding the truth and both ready for the rebirth scorpio energy wow okay now let's get some messages from the higher selves of the twins And I am going to go with your person's higher self first. Okay. Activated earth, power places, ley line, trust where you are led. So your person's, the divine masculine's higher self is guiding them towards you very likely. What your higher self is saying. You are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north and earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Very interesting. So, Virgo, you may feel like this is the only person you met so far who fully gets who you are, who fully understands you. Um, it also ignites your spirituality uh, accelerate it and now you are fully embracing or just about to embrace who you truly are earth is showing up here a lot activated earth earth so this you are not for everyone is possibly how you both feel you could feel both like weirdos, black sheep, not fitting in. Uh, maybe you try to fit in or uh, try to live a life where you walk the path like others do, but not feeling fulfilled and happy with that. It's true for both of you. So finding things, these things in each other, the feeling of belonging, this, this power tunnel here is like uh, quite significant. Um, 
it's it's the the bridge between the physical and the spiritual and i feel that it, this connection is uplifting accelerating it's supposed to be it's a twin flame connection and uh, and uh, fast tracking fast forwarding to the next chapter i feel there is some acceleration especially with this uh, knight of swords energy is hiding away some kind of acceleration happening in the process mercury open communication right now we are in mercury retrograde still get the weight off your chest speak up with love and be heard so this um shift may bring in communication bottom of the deck is kalima facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar absolutely so acceleration major spiritual changes open communication so something is definitely shifting in the connection even if it's not showing up in the physical just yet it's being prepared and created so their higher self is working on them to push them towards you you are finding more and more about who you are and uh, you um, could be the one who can help them it's like uh, what is it called um when someone wants to get up the fence uh, over a wall and the other one is holding uh their their hand so they can step on it and and boosting them up i don't know what the expression is but you meant to do that for your divine masculine so i feel they come reconnect they will get the boost and the two of you hopefully will shift onto the same timeline tell me more about this what the higher selves are up to please we the hathors deep love mother's milk birth as a portal empathic starseed energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours so i feel this is like you virgo could be you are the divine feminine you are whether you are a man or a woman you are the divine feminine um if you feel like this is your reading um so that motherly energy that nurturing um energy acts as a portal you are a portal for them and they are uh in a situation a surrounding where others toxicity negativity is bringing them down so they the higher selves are working together and their higher self is pushing them towards you um, to reconnect okay so let's see what is the next step four of cups and the devil to work through the fear of rejection you could be dealing with um, a capricorn okay so this could be a fear pattern on both sides and as i said that 14 14 is on the clock one plus four is five so it's a change on both sides um this fear of rejection can be very very strong and we've got the knight of swords again so um you are being pushed towards each other to have sorry have the chance to work through this let me just shut the door okay so let's get to know more about this fear of rejection uh, 
Eight of Swords, King of Cups. So you both have the love for each other, but you are both stuck in your heads. Page of Wands, a messenger of passionate new beginning. King of Wands taking steps towards each other. Yeah. The Moon, one wolf, lone wolf. You are missing each other, yearning for each other. Three of Cups, this is the feeling of belonging, celebrating your individuality and the, the weirdness, the being different from others and a cycle is closing and another one starting. Pisces and Capricorn energy. Sorry about my dog, she wants her second breakfast. <laughs> but I hope she will settle down for a second because I would like to bring more messages to you. This situation is already resolved, a favorable outcome. Archangel Michael is saying that. So work with Archangel Michael because he is the, the Archangel of courage and protection. And this favorable outcome is, is granted. It's like uh, things are unfolding the way they're supposed to. Pay attention to your dreams, believe and trust. You could be receiving messages from them, from their higher self in your dreams. Guarded and protected and explore your options. Uh, write about your feelings and let go of fear now. So that fear of rejection or whatever fear you are dealing with um, needs to be worked through. And uh, Spirit is asking you to honor and trust your feelings because um, you know your intuition is guiding you fo forward so wow this is amazing I'm there is no extended with this reading but there is so much that you can explore so if you have time have a look at my new adventures the gnostic tv uh, show which is um, a brand new adventure of mine and uh, the second uh, show is being published uh, at night if you are <laughs> in England on Friday and um, let me know how you like it it's a completely different level about finding your purpose your passion your mission and I am interviewing people uh, after the second show about how they find their passion and uh, how they can help you uh, to to heal and uh, take your game to the next level and um, i've got a new youtube membership connected to the healing podcast also patreon is revamped and there is the loyalty program introduced to the top tier Lots of new things already in place. Lots of new things are coming. So stay tuned and I am sending you so much love. Take care. Bye for now.